In this video, I will be showing you guys the behind the scenes of a B-roll that I made about this hat that I'm wearing. But first, let's watch it together. I mean, I really love it myself because I love hats and the hats that I add to my collection right there. All right, guys, but before we jump right into the behind the scenes and the making of that bureau, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Cinepunch. Cinepunch is a bundle for all filmmakers, video creators, content creators out there like me. It contains thousands of easy to use drag and drop mode transitions, color packs, motion presets, and sound effects that you can easily use on Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects. Over the last weeks, it has become my to-go place whenever I need a sound effect or an easy to use awesome transitions when I'm making my videos. And that's what I used for making the B-roll that you just watched. And the price that you're paying for getting these thousands of already included and easy to use assets in the Cinepunch bundle is ridiculously low. So if you're a video creator like me and you want to take your videos into the next level with a really simple approach, just go for it, get it. It's so much easy to use and you won't regret it. And of course, I've already included the link to this awesome package below in the description. Actually, we are going to start our behind the scenes with the Cinepunch transition right now. All right, guys, so a couple of tips before we get started about this B-roll. First of all, since I want to have like a black background, as you can see, I'm going to be using the wall and I want to separate it from my object. I'm just going to like kind of keep the distance as much as I can. And I'm not going to be using any of the softboxes to have more control over my light. I'm going to be using my Pixel G2 Pocket LED light. I'm going to be using this velvet black uh, paper that I just installed on this piece of wood. So I'm just gonna be putting this here, turning off the soft boxes, going to the other side and recording the first shot, which is uh, recording this number 47. All right, so for getting our next shot, which is uh, having the hat from the front. So I'm just going to put this over here and I'm going to adjust my Osmo like in a distance about one feet from the hat. I'm not going to be moving this. I'm going to be using digital zoom in Adobe Premiere Pro to create that shot. And at the same time, I'm going to be moving the light from left to write to create that light line movement. So I'm just gonna turn off the light. Alexa, turn off the main light. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna take this couple of times to make sure. All right, so in this shot, what I'm gonna do, I wanna kind of create a transition uh, while I kind of move the camera towards the hat, and then I'm gonna have the uh, rolling hat uh, shots after this. So I'm just gonna set up the light on the cold color mode. And now I'm, it's super easy. I'm just gonna literally just, just move the camera smoothly inside this hole, okay? So, Let's go. This is one of my favorite parts. So I'm gonna have a shot of this hat kind of being in the air and rotating so I can record it. And I'm gonna be using this black thread to kind of hang it. And now I'm just gonna set up my lights. There we go. I think we got it. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna get some close up shots. Nice. 
Okay. I'm gonna set up the camera like in a fixed distance. Let me just adjust it right here. I'm just gonna be moving this whole thing until the logo shows up in front of the camera, okay? Hold on, I don't know if you guys can see me. So now we are gonna have our hero shots uh, where everything ends. What I have in my mind is to kind of have this over here. I'm gonna go to the other side and kind of it's gonna be like this, but with the Osmo, and then I'm just gonna be picking it up and finito. I'm gonna put the Osmo here. Let me turn it on. All right, guys, so I've imported all the videos that we just shot together into my Adobe Premiere Pro in the sequence that I wanted them to appear. And the thing is, I'm gonna be using the CinePunch presets for my transition. So from the editing section over here, I just go to effects and I just right click on presets and I go to import presets. Once I'm inside my CinePunch folders, over here I can see the transition punch presets. I'm just gonna open it, go to install, double click on this, and all of the transition presets are gonna be added over here into my presets. So if I go to transition over here and I expand it, so you can see we have the bounce stretch swifts, we have the camera shakes, chaos cuts, chops, corner turns, glitches, which is what I'm gonna be using in this bureau. We have fades, oh my God, there are so many to use and they are all drag and drop over your video. So I'm gonna be using the glitches. So I'm just gonna go over here, not the slide, the glitch. And I'm just gonna be dragging and dropping this over my video. And once I play it, it's gonna look like this. You see? So we have the glitch showing up. Then I'm gonna use some simple cross dissolves and deep, do black transitions. And I'm gonna put a couple of more types of glitches in uh, the other videos that I have. So one of my favorite things in the CinePunch pack is the sound effects that they have provided. Uh, there are a couple of different folders and packs that you have. One is the uh, Trailer Punch Cinematic Sound Mixer for like the trailer style type of uh, sounds. I'm just gonna open this TP Robo Mixer 2 for example. For this one. And this is not all, there are lots of other sound effect packs. So if I just type uh, sound and just look it up over here, I'm gonna find the ultimate transition sound. So these are the sound effects that I'm gonna be using here. So if I'm using glitch uh, transitions, I can also find the glitch sound effects. So everything is gonna be aligned together. So now let's watch the video with the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro so you can see all of the transitions, sound effects and the music that I use for making this B-roll. All right, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Make sure to check out the links to the CinePunch bundle below in the description, which is really amazing. If this was your first time watching my videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you won't be missing the upcoming videos that I'm gonna be posting every week. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up so that would be really appreciated. And of course, make sure to follow me on my Instagram account because there are lots of videos that I post on a daily basis that I don't usually post them on YouTube. So let's be in touch. And until the next video, mochles.